Hey guys, I'm done mowing all my lawn a couple hours later. I think it's beautiful. The day is beautiful. I bought my lawn. We can talk about that. Anyway, I do enjoy yard work and this could be one idea to do some cardio. It keeps you walking brisk for quite some time, but if you don't like it and just rather walk in the neighborhood or take your dog out to play or your kids, do that. Anything that makes you move and walk, get a little bit out of breath, will help you as a cardio substitute if you don't have any tasks. Now, right after that, that's a perfect time to do some more intense stretching because right now uh, your body is warm, your blood flow um, is been in all the muscles and that helps uh, with stretching later on when you are warm and doing that. So that being said, we're just going to start with a couple of simple yoga poses. This is not a yoga mat, so I'm not going to be really successful with that, but let's see. Let's start with a little down dog. Whenever you do a down dog, you want to get your back all natural aligned and start with bent knees and then just start paddling your heels down and you should feel the right way stretching in your hamstrings, into your calves. Did you know that a lot of people have really tight hamstring and this is often the reason for lower back pain? So to get in the next pose, this is called Pigeon. Um, you just bring that knee you're starting to work on to your wrist and the foot to the other side. Your body is still facing forward. And then you're just trying to get as low as possible with your hips. Stretching can be very relaxing and calming and soothing. I have often noticed if I'll take the time and stretch at night, it relaxes me that much that I will fall asleep soon after, which is often a good thing because um, sometimes we stay up because we're stressed, we can't really stop thinking, and we can't really relax and let go. and reach to the other side. That can be pretty tough and pretty intense. If you're not ready for that, don't do it. You can also undo your knees a little bit and your legs just to have a little easier version of it. All right, come on back forward onto your knees back into push-up position and switch that knee out to the other side. Start all over. It is so beautiful. It's just perfect out here in the shade. Bring that other knee right behind the first one. Open your feet like a little fishtail and sit down in the back. Also here, let's go a little bit deeper into that. That can be pretty intense, so be careful with that if you can handle that. All right, open up your legs and put them right in front of you. Inhale, exhale, and try to reach to your oh, maybe dirty toes. If you can grab the toes, sometimes it feels really nice to just bend them gently. Up, go back.
and bring your soles together close as you can to your pelvis <coughs> and let the, let the knees just drop down I get often asked um, how long you're supposed to stay in a good stretch, but it's no really perfect answer. Sometimes if it feels good and I'll still go somewhere, I'll stay in a stretch for maybe a couple minutes even. And um, the minimum what they usually say to have some outcome of that stretching you're doing is 20 seconds. But if you feel good and you feel like you want to do more, then go right ahead. This next stuff is really something for people with lower back pain. It's very soothing um, and relaxing and it helps often when you have a lot of stress going on. First thing, it's just simple to pull the knees gently to your chest. And if you can handle it, even just cradle right, left a little bit. From here, I'm putting my arms right out and drop the knees to one side while I turn my head to the other. I really try to melt down to the ground. And if you can extend the top leg and hold on to the toes. And let those toes go and your knees right back over to your chest. Pull them one more time, close and tight. And drop them to the other side. Open your chest and turn your head away from your legs. Again, if you can, you extend the top leg and hold on to the toes. And you might realize that one side you're a lot tighter than the other. Just live with that. Relax that neck, bring your knees back over your chest, hold on to your knees, sit back up, cross your legs this time, and come on forward, for as far as you can. And walk to one side. And to the other. Change out your legs and repeat. the other side. And 
hands, sit up back straight. Take both your hands, lace them, push your palms forward, and this time round your back like you're trying to make a cat back. Try to separate your shoulder blades, pulling your shoulders forward and your chest back. And if you wiggle a little, you might even feel how tight you are. And straighten out that back again. Sit up straight and bring your arms above overhead. Now don't, try not to arch your back. Actually try to pull your tummy in, but bring those arms as far back as you can. Keeping those elbows straight or as straight as possible. That requires a little bit of core engagement. That's not a bad thing. Turn around, elbows bend to one side. And the other. And open your legs. Bend on forward. This is a hard one for me. From here as far as you can. It's also really important stretch. It's one of your hamstrings or parts of your hamstring you're stretching here. And again, if those get tight, it often hurts in the hip, in the lower back, even your knees. And if you can, bring your elbow in front of your knee and keep your chest open to the front and just reach. Since we have been already stretching a little bit, this is pretty good. Normally I don't even get that far. Again, if you really feel like you need this, stay a little longer. Here I'm a little tighter, I can't even reach that far. Right, there's one more to go. If you can, bring your feet under your hip, sit onto your feet, and lace your hands right behind your back. Now from here, squeeze, let me show that. So squeeze your shoulder blades first together, then straighten out those arms. Keep the chest open, and then you can just lift up. So try not to roll forward and do it. Chest open first, shoulder blades together, and then lift. It's an awesome stretch in your chest. Let it go. Keep your hands right in front of you, bottom up. And one more time, stretch your hamstrings. We're just simple bending forward. Now you get a few versions of how to stretch the hamstring. Hands to your knee, come on back up, inhale, exhale. And now you actually had almost stretched everything. What is important, what you might have used this morning. If you have tight calves, it is always good to bring your foot back and push that heel down or even bend that knee but push that heel still back down and you feel it in the back of your Achilles while the other one stretches more the calf. So let's add this just on the end since we're up now. All right guys and if I get time tonight I will get workout number four in and we are going to do a booty workout so looking forward to seeing you tomorrow again on day number four you have an awesome day enjoy the beautiful weather make the best out of it